Be prepared for highly offensive language and aggressive confrontation. Previously, love hurt. He keeps looking at me like he's in love with me. I mean, you're cuddling every ten minutes. Uh, trying to make out like I've been doing something wrong and I'm not. I could certainly tell you he's coming out to their boyfriend though, and it certainly ain't. I shouldn't have said that. I can't even do this. I want to leave now. Don't let it like I'm sick. It's making me look like an idiot. Like. I love you to bits. Her boyfriend ain't gonna be there. She's dreaming, mate. And killer nominations rocked the house. Christina. Johnny. Daniele. I'm sorry, Tiff. Tiff, I'm so sorry. He's made an enemy. You seem like the biggest game player. Apparently, I'm the baddest bitch in the house. <laughs> Tonight, the tension is mounting. That's Christina. Christina. Gemma said to me, just two different people. You're not Beyonce. You ain't no Sasha Fierce, girl. He kicks on my tits, that geezer. And it all kicks off. Oh, no. Steph, I can't deal with it. It's too much. What are you dealing with it to me, friend? Are you using it enough? It is so wrong what you're doing. You've got a boyfriend. I can't wait for you to see, like, what a horrible monster you are. No one's ever liked you because you're a diva. Oh, you you want you want Steph, stop it. If you let me back in that house, I'm going to end up doing something I regret, punching Gemma Collins in the face, which he deserves. Dear 12, 9.36 a.m. It's the morning after Nancy left the Big Brother house. And in a surprise nominations twist, Daniela, Tiffany, Christina and John were all put up for eviction. And leaving the house is firmly on Angie's mind. You sleep well, Angie. Mm. You sleep okay? Yeah. I was coughing all night. Are you okay? Where are you? I'm leaving. What are you saying? What? No, Auntie Angie. Why are you saying that? Yeah. Why? Why? Auntie Angie, talk to me first. Come on. Auntie Angie, give me, give me one. I'm done with it. It's over. No amount of money would allow me to stay a minute longer. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't have to do jack shit. That's what's so fabulous. No, I need some clothes. I need some shoes. I'd love a cup of tea. I'd love some food. But I can't be bothered with either of them, so thank you, my sweet. Oh, so delicious. What? Stay. No. <laughs> Under no circumstances. I wish you'd stay here. <coughs> Sorry. Not yeah. possible. Christopher and Stephanie are talking about her nomination of Daniela last night. Mate, I need to tell you this right, but Daniela's not saying anything to me. But I feel like I'm in between. Yeah. I've got no well feelings, like, so that's why I'm surprised she's got the hump, because it should be the other way around. So, really. so you need to find out why. I had to pick someone and she has been saying, don't, I'm no hard feelings, if you vote for me, you vote for me, so I thought she'll be stronger to take it then. And I spoke to her, I was like, I'm nervous, and not, so I left her okay with her. I, I don't know why she jumped and said that, yeah. that before. She just obviously abused me. But good for her for telling it to me face before I watched it on TV, at least they weren't two-faced, you know what I mean? But. She's, she, she knows she's in the wrong. I think that's what's winding her up more. Because she knows she shouldn't have said that. She's probably thinking that's one of the reasons why I did it. And I did because friends don't, to me, friends don't do that. Anyway, at least we've got another day of fun together in the house and buzzing. I'm buzzing, I'm just still here. I'd have hated not waking up and being here. Ten fifty four am David is not well, so is spending the day resting in Big Brother's spare bedroom. <laughs> Stephanie is speaking to Daniela about her killer nomination. But yesterday I can't describe the position I was in. Like, I can't literally just open my eyes and 
I know, but I just want to make sure you're okay and that I'm fine, but just forget I'm about fine. it. I'm fine. I was the last one to get to go, like. I'm fine, don't worry about it. And when they're like, come on, you need to give a quick answer, and I was like, I do. And then afterwards, I was thinking, I'm fine, I just got up, I'm just knackered. I'm so shit today. I know, and she's not well, is she? She's leaving. Last night, Jeremy nominated Tiffany. My boy, my boy want to get rid of me. Nah, no, it's not like that. It's really not? Really, really not. It's so horrible being in that position. Trust me, Tiff, I really didn't know what to do. Like, it's impossible. It literally has to be the last minute. So just because we haven't talked a lot it's and not, It's literally, I only went down when you, the isolation thing the, the, the last few days. Like, it's just that. And that's the game, isn't it? Yeah. It looks too close to fuck. What? What do you do? It wouldn't look like that. It doesn't even look too faced. It's like it's good. You know, I'm a very honest person, and I've never, I'm not like a people pleaser. Or it's just the way it happened. It's just, it's shit circumstances. Angie is coming to speak to Big Brother. See ya. Yes. I want my passport and I want my phone. I want a car to get back to town. Thank you. That's what I need. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. How are you, big brother? I want my passport and my phone. I want a car to get back to town. That's all I need. And I need this door left open because I'm getting claustrophobic. Thank you. Right. How long is it going to take to get my passport and phone? Angie, big brother just wants to talk to you first. I don't want to talk to you. How about that? I want my passport and my phone and a car to get back to London. Big Brother is listening. Big Brother has heard all that. Good. Big Brother just wants to know why you don't want to talk to Big Brother. I have no interest in talking to you at all. <clears throat> and why is that? Passport, phone, car. Coming up, the housemates get down and dirty. <laughs> And does Angie fly the nest for good? That's it. It's time to find a way out. One thirty-seven p.m. Angie is taking time to cool off in the diary room. Megan is telling a story about an ex-boyfriend. Do you know what? You have? I haven't cheated on a boy. But you've done something. But I've done something to get him back. What is it? That's it. That's a boy start. I hate that me. Yeah, do you know why I've done that? I don't care why anyone does that. I've just known me. yourself to the level. Do you know why I've done that? Because he cheated on me and I found out and he sent it to me in a text yeah, message. She showed his mate. Oh, I hear you until right now. That annoys me about girls. Don't fuck with me then. And you I was, me, though. When I did it, I was so fucking happy. No, no, it's still though. It's no. still because you lured yourself no, to do you what he what? does though. I've you never did, ever. You, you no, declared yourself no, by having one Sam with his pal. It weren't really his pal. Though. It was his pal. You don't need to say that. No, it, it wasn't. Pal. It wasn't really his pal, his pal. actually. Just as Scott, you don't know my life. So you fancy his mate for a while and then you eventually no, gave it to no, shag his mate. No, no, I didn't even. You weren't. You weren't really a pal like that. Nah. I hate I don't him give a shit. It I got me, mentally yeah. fucked up in my head from that boy. So, so I don't I, give a even, shit. Even if my ex bird right, shit me a thousand times, I would still never break up a friendship with her. Just because I wouldn't lower myself at that level. Because that, that's the worst thing when people start going on. It's hard though when your emotions yeah. are so messed up. Why is he getting naked for like that? Because he likes it's ridiculous. it. Because he likes it. And he thinks, like, if that's. Would you do that to him? Yes. If that, do you know what I mean? He's just worried. No, it's been nice to know you. He don't understand what that boy's done to me. You are not going anywhere. I get it, Christina and John are discussing Angie. I went to bed and I started analysing everything and I thought... That's what I was doing and I couldn't It's about get four people it. I can't get because they say one thing, but then they, they, they act totally different. Like who? Angie. Am I stupid or I just don't read people anymore? She was sitting there saying she doesn't want to go home. Then half an hour later she had a fit around the house and she said she wants to go home. I don't think she'll go. I mean, she seems pretty adamant, but I, I honestly, genuinely don't think she'll go. 
Big Brother suggests that you go and get some rest, and Big Brother would love to talk to you a little bit more later on. To see Absolutely, how I'll be happy to. I'm sorry I'm so cranky, but when I don't sleep, I just... That's it. It's time to find a way out. So, um, if I can sleep, hopefully we won't have a second round of this bollocks, because I, I can't stand bothering people, and bothering you guys at the weekend especially is just unbearable to me. But I appreciate you doing something about it. So and thank you. you very much. Big Brother doesn't have a weekend. <laughs> Are you happy to go return to the house now? Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Angie. OK, bye-bye. There she is. Hello, morning. All right, Ange? You all right? Hi, everyone. Hi. Are you back? Yeah. Are you staying? I have to sleep now. Here's a cuddle. Are you staying? I have to. It just, I, I just, yeah, I guess so. Four or four p.m. For today's task, the house has been divided into two teams who must work together to balance a pair of skills with gunge. Housemates have been told that on each team there's a secret saboteur whose job it is to ensure the scales stay unbalanced. However, what they don't know is that secretly they've all been told to sabotage the task. Oh, <laughs> This is Big Brother. Housemates have not balanced the scales and the task has been sabotaged by two housemates. One saboteur is on the green side of the scales and one saboteur is on the pink side of the scales. The housemates must now decide who the saboteur was in each team. This is Big Brother. Stephanie must now reveal which housemate the green side believe is a saboteur and their reasons for this decision. Uh, we think it was Chris because he picked, he went straight for the clumps. And the clumps in the head one was the hardest thing, but Danielle yeah. was you actually trying to put it in. And um, so I thought it was going to be Chris or Danielle, it's definitely Chris. Jonathan must now reveal which housemate the pink side believe is a saboteur and their reasons for this decision. We have decided that the saboteur on the pink team is Gemma. Earlier today, housemates were told they must transfer as much gunge as possible and balance the scales to win a party. Housemates were also told there were two housemates trying to sabotage the task. <laughs> However, this was not the case. Big Brother can now reveal that all housemates were secretly saboteurs. Ah! As housemates successfully sabotage the task, they have won a party tonight. Yeah! As a punishment for being identified as saboteurs, Christopher and Gemma will not be allowed to attend the party and will be locked in jail. Oh, oh, oh. I worked so hard! I tried a Coming up, Tiffany sets a record straight. I just want you to know that Big Brother didn't put you amongst no bullshit. Like, I'm pulling my weight. 
And Jeremy spills the beans. Kiss her. Love ya. I'll kiss on the lips then. Eight oh five PM. As a reward for winning today's task, Big Brother has thrown the housemates a party. However, for failing their part in the task, Gemma and Christopher have been locked up. I'm never playing a game again. It winds me up in jail. Right, let's get comfy. Ready? Should I put some makeup on or something? Look, like shit. Hey, look it's, it's fun. Really cheap, it's funny. It's... I've got no panties on, so make sure I keep my legs together. <laughs> How about that? Well, I'll be flushing me gash. We all be yeah, like, yeah. hey, let's let it out. <laughs> Big brother, we need some gash music. We need some music. I need some water. <laughs> oh, they make, they make mix these drinks right. Give me a pound dance. Go on, man. Did you want me to? Go on. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> Just take it off. Oh. Let's paint the town. We'll shut it down. Let's burn the roof. Yeah. 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 Night's gonna be a good night. That tonight's yeah. gonna yeah. be. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 9.29 p.m. Christopher and Gemma have been in jail for one hour and 24 minutes. This is Big Brother. Gemma and Christopher, you have successfully completed your sentence. I think we're free to join the party. Let's have some canapes. Oh, it's sicky. All right. Go on, you've got a Big Brother have actually been... Guys, did all of you think I was not going to get in there and have a hissy fit? Thank you, big... Oh! oh! Thank you, big brother. Megan has a question for Scotty T. What's going on with you anyway on the outside world, Scotty? Because <laughs> I'm completely so single and I'm not seeing anybody, so what's I'm going on with you? Are you not seeing anybody? No. You're completely single? No, I wasn't, I wasn't completely single. So what are you now, completely single or what? Well, no, so... What? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, not. No. Huh? You're a little shit, you are. Bothered. Time you up. Yeah. Music, big brother! <laughs> <laughs> Nine fifty p.m. Housemates are playing a Big Brother party game, where one housemate must draw a question from the box and pick a housemate that matches the statement. Who would you miss the most if they left the house? Aww. Aww. I hope it's me. Now. Now. Think wise, it's good. Aww. That's a really good oh, one. Well. That's, that's, that's a good, good one. First one. <laughs> Oh, it's been seen Jeremy and Meg though, isn't it? Oh like well pretty close, but obviously I've had this little this this thing going on with Meg, so yeah, probably. Sorry, mate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Would be the best in bed. Oh <laughs> Can't give it to yourself, Ange. Fuck up. Oh my um, god. You see I gotta you? say <laughs> Bo delicious over there. <laughs> 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 she was real, yeah. Yeah, she was and yeah, yeah. Funny, yeah. who called you? <laughs> was that wrong? Was that no, bad? Scott and Jeremy, I got it. I didn't mean to embarrass you, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Least like to be locked in a room with. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Go on. Just be honest. Just, uh -huh. Just be honest. Your opinion. Oh, wow. Well. Not that. <laughs> Probably me because I'll pester the life over. Obviously, things have been cleared up, but because of the other day, then I'll give it to you. Johnny, talk it like a champ. <laughs> Thinks they are above the rest of the housemates. 
<laughs> trust you to Scott, you take sweating. this out of the box. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. I don't, I don't think that well, at all. I can't give it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I have to. Uh, I guess I have to pass it over to the other alpha male in the house, and I guess that would be you, Gemma. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Pleasure, Except honey. it in the. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I'll with the that grace that it was given. Thank you, yeah. darling. <laughs> Party Let's great. just play it funly, yeah? yeah. Let's yeah. just have fun with it. Like, yeah. 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 Let's just have fun awesome with this. it. Right, if you could evict anyone right now, who would it be? Oh, my oh, gosh. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Christina, only because you're pregnant, honey. And that, that is honestly yeah, how I the, feel. I, That's, I'm it, the safe bed for you're everyone. You're pregnant yeah, and you're yeah, 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 yeah. home and relaxed. Like, I'm sick of this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's over I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Darren, I feel sorry for you. Go on, Daz. Oh, come no, on, we've half come half this far. Come on. Daz, just say it, boy. What does it read it out? Read it out for the boys. It just says least famous. Oh, right. OK. That's, now... I could start a whole new argument up, but I can only say this just because, because you live in the States, mm -hmm. I didn't know you, mm -hmm. so from my perspective, just because we live in different countries, if I was in the mm -hmm. States, obviously I'd know exactly who you, who you are. I'm sure you had no idea who and I, I was. And I respect you, Mr. Darren Day, but let me tell you, at the highest rated of my show is 4 million viewers. That's what I'm saying, but did you yeah. know who I was? No. Exactly. <laughs> and Darren, not to be like, I'm tooting my horn, but I do have four successful reality shows I, that's coming out I'm this sure year, you, and I'm also executive producing well, I'm some. I'm sure you're doing I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really genuinely pleased so for I'm, it. Are you going to watch them? I just want you to know that Big Brother didn't put you amongst no bullshit. Like, I'm pulling my weight. Sure, no, yeah, I, I, really, I just wanted to say that. Ten forty-six pm Christina is opening up to John. I think that's a very much sort of my Russian side, that, you know, whatever, like, whoever we are or, or how we were raised, you know, I can't be two-faced. I mean, of course we all can be two-faced. Of course. Thing is, man, we're of working course. in the bloody... But I don't go out of my way Of my to way to, to, to lick someone's and if you're not And you know? if you're not bringing something to my door, yeah, 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 I might yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you're bringing something to my yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. So, that's, that's the thing. I will I survive... I don't go out of my way to go behind your back. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah, and sometimes perhaps if I was a different way, I would have an easier life in general, you know, in the show business. Perhaps I could have been more, you know, flexible in my thoughts and so on, but I don't want to compromise what I believe in. Gemma has made an observation. That's not alcohol, that's oh, ginger ale. Yeah. Well, she's different. She's you know, but the, he took he took her on man. as his pet. Jeremy is talking to Christopher and Scotty T about Stephanie. How old are you? Twenty five. You're not gonna marry a maid, fuck you. Attraction is not a choice, man. I'm sorry. Attraction is not What's a choice. Off? Attraction is not a choice. I can't tell, but reality is a choice. <laughs> so you two, you two make me fucking shut up. Mm. I know I'm being a dick. But I can't help, I can't no, sit in a gap with a brain. The trouble is, the it. fucking trouble is, mate, I'll tell you a face now, you fucking think you've been a dick, you're not. That's your fucking trouble. Yeah, but I'm worried about her. Why? Because she's gonna look like a mutt. But, 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 but then aren't you as well? Yeah. 100%. 100%. Well then, that's well, then, why I worry about the crowd reaction, that's why I'm thinking about it. Just stop these both looking like a mug. Just beat yourself. I know it's hard. <laughs> I can't, like, one of us will have to go. Something's gonna happen in the house, and it's gonna make her look creepy. Really yeah. yeah there you go. Kissed her. Have you? I've kissed on the lips, like. When? Just right like, under the sheets, like. I knew you fucking did because that's what you were told. It was literally, when, it, was when like, on, it was a peck on the lips, man. Like. Yeah, it's a shame she goes in herself a bit with him. But see, let me tell you something. He know what he doing. Of course he does. He know what he doing. Of course he does. And that's what he got one in his corner. I don't have one in my corner. You got my back. I'm in your corner. I need you in my corner. Tiff, I told you yesterday, I'm there. Sometimes, Jimmy, I feel like you don't see me. He got her where he need her. But I would never make you feel under me. I see you as an equal. So you think that's different with their I, relationship? I see you. I would never 
Oh, okay. You, you okay. Might, right. Oh, you're right. Right. The right. Person, I could go. <laughs> right. Right. There, there. See, that's as <laughs> if I could that's, tell you what to do. Right. That's what's going on with them, and that's the difference. That's why me and you, we're like that. He took her over the time She's that a, Nancy left. He sucked her up. And now she looks miserable. Yeah, and she is. Like when she's with him, when she's with us, she's smiling, she's happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets mm -hmm. on my tits, that gazer. Well, because you see big him. Time. You see Johnny for what he is. He's like a big party pooper, mate. Eleven or three PM. Jeremy is having an early night. I'm just gonna, I'm going to bed, like. I can't sleep in that one. Yeah, can. Put in there, yeah. Put in there. Can I wake you up if I come back in? Nah. What's wrong with you? Get away from me. Why are you standing out with me, like? Why are you standing there? Like, I'm standing out of the bed. Sad. Where's Megan? There's no need in that, Jess, like. Why are you being like that? You're not, you're being a ming. Thanks for being rude. Rude. He's being a fucking asshole to me. Daniela is sharing her first impressions of <laughs> Tiffany. I liked you when I first met you, I thought you was a little fireball. And then I was off. I never ju I never judge. I was off. No, I wasn't judge, you know. No, no, but no, I was, no. I was, no, I was, no, I was like that. your kickoffs, I was like, I'm half uneasy about. Mm -hmm. What what you who you are what you are you know what I mean what your purpose is and where you're coming from and picking and then as I've got to know you know, and things different things have happened and and now I think that girl's you know, got a heart now I think she's no she's got always had a heart but no she's but got, you know what I mean thank you thank she's you she's found her feet within she's the she yeah. couldn't didn't know her place I did not but do you rem do you and it uh, do you know what I'm so glad because. As I say, you did take yourself away and you were in bed and you didn't yeah. get involved. I'm trying to figure it all out. Mm. I'm just finished. Like, it is what it is and it's not me. Like, I'm not. Like, I'm not a dog. Like, I'm sorry. I know you're not a dog. Yeah, but I'm being treated like a dog. By you? Just could you please come inside because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get upset. Like, Steph, I can't deal with it. Like, it's too much and it's not your fault either. Like, you get me? It's not your fault. I'm sad. I can't go to sleep with me. Just drink your drink and get into bed with Megan. Like, it's too much. What are you doing it to me for? If you respected me and actually liked me, you'd walk out and just leave me. I know, me but I love you too much to leave you yeah. on your own. You have to. I'm fine on my own. I'll be better on my own. Yeah. You coming in here doing this isn't. It's too much for me. Like, like I can't deal with this. Like, I just can't. Like, I'm not this. I need to get out of the house. Like, I need when it's out, I'll be fine. But in here, like, I need to be separated. So what are you saying? I'm just saying it's grand. I'll be your mate, but I'm not like. The affection shit needs to stop, like. We said that already. No, I'm like, I am, like, I've come into bed tonight, I'm, I'm finished, like. It's too much, that little scowl, like, because I have to look out for myself as well, like. You know, that's all I'm saying, dude. Why have you just gone in bed? I don't get it. Right, so when you do this. I was singing your praises. This, when you do this, and then you go in and say, oh, I'm in love, and I'm like, I can't deal with shit like that, it's just too much. Yeah. It doesn't make sense in my head how a girl can deal with that. What do you want me to deal about? I've I'm met just... you and you were such a great I know, I know that. I'm just trying to take myself away from it before it gets worse and you'll get more upset about something. I'm trying to be the bigger lad here, like, that's all I'm trying to do, but once it stops... Don't mind to me. You're going to have to go with it, like. You can't say I have these on the outside, I have that on the outside, and then you're playing me but, like no, you're a little fucking puppy. It's it is, babe. It's like you want your cake and you want to eat it. No, it's not. It is. It, it's exactly that, and I'm sorry, but you can't fuck with my head. I can't deal with all this little... And then you're like, oh, I have a boyfriend, I love him to be, I'm going to marry him. I'm like, Hannah, it's f I can look like a dog. I'm not going to make you like a mug. I'll take it, too. I'll take more. I'll get more. I don't care. But the least thing I want, what is you saying to me while you're standing from. over me? That's it. Come on, now. Coming up... Gemma and Stephanie go head to head. What you're doing is so wrong on so many levels. I can't wait for you to see yourself with your ear at like what a horrible monster you are. You do Get not a fucking no. Who you are you? You're off Cali. What's your talent? Nothing. 
prepared for highly offensive language and aggressive confrontation. Twelve thirty one AM. Gemma is telling Daniela about Stephanie's earlier conversation with Jeremy. She's been crying her eyes out. He's been saying, Look, you've got a boyfriend. She's and, and it's killing me when you're saying you're gonna marry him and you love him and all of this. She's gonna she says she wakes up with a knot in her stomach every morning. But the thing is it ain't really fair to him either. It's not fair on him. No. Stephanie has got Jeremy out of bed to talk about their friendship. And what do we do from here? I have never, it's, I've got something to take a look to because I've never been in this position before. But. Right, so we know we that. We have fucking good crap together, we have a good laugh together. We don't know what it's going to be like on the outside, but I don't want to lose you at all. No, I know, but what the fuck do you want us to do? What, what's going to change? Like, what, what's the big deal? What are we going to do? Jeremy and Stephanie are the topic of conversation in the bedroom. People, people will be watching this, and I'm saying I like you. Yeah. So what? What does that mean? Oh, you're gonna hate me because obviously I've got a boyfriend, but it's not like that. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? I get it. I but got people aren't saying things for a reason. They're saying it because. Of I'm glad that you've you've I'm, opened up and you've been honest well, about it because what they've said, what they've seen is what you. You've and then people don't understand what we're living like. What do you think when you go to bed at night? What you... I've been worried. I can't remember what Sam sounds like. I'm trying to think of his voice. But I that is because you're in here. No, but I can't that's think of what he sounds like anymore. But that's because you're in here. You go out there and you'll hear that and they'll be like, all right. But that doesn't that, matter. Like... I'm in love with the idea of love. This is what I'm trying to say to you. You're not in love with me, like. It's been ten days, like steady. Like, right, calm down. You said to love us too. Come on, like, like, I'm, be I'm being honest. This is hard for me. Come on. I put, I, well, all I, I know I is when I look at you, tonight. when I look at you, like, I feel like that. There's potential there. A lot of potential, like when I look it's at you. Same potential, but well, that's not lying. Cause I've put, I've, 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 I've risked everything tonight for you. Come on. Or 7 a.m. Stephanie and Jeremy are in bed. Do you think he'll be okay? I think so. Are you just are you letting off? Are you fucking joking? Don't be at that. Are you We're fucking? Don't even it. try and blag shit like that. Stop have it. a little bit of decorum, please. Not Come decorum. On. We're speaking under the covers. Having a little chat. I've been guys. Crying can out. I just we say can what you're up. doing is com public knowledge that you've already kissed under the covers. Are you actually joking? With no. Excuse me, Jen. It is so wrong no, what you're doing. Okay. You've are got you a boyfriend. Even, are you actually you've got saying that a I've kissed under the cover? You've you told are, people. You Jeremy you told it? Scotty yeah. that I've kissed him. No, yeah. I've not kissed no, him. You have. You have. have. Not what you're not. doing is so wrong on so Come many on. levels. We Jeremy's not kiss. told Scotty. You're a fella. It's a fella. You've got a fella. You've got a fella. You've got a boyfriend, babe. 
Kids, listen to me, please. I'm listen. Kids, you've listen got to me. a fella set. You're one of her together. Listen, you're from one of her tonight. Well, I've picked that up. You've kissed. She's got a fucking friend. Jem, who the fuck are you trying to speak to me like that, Soz? Like, let go. I'm trying to help you. You've got to oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Why don't you have a little bit of balls? And when you're trying to chat about shit about people, stick to what you're thinking yeah. and not trying to do the best mates. I think you're act acting like an absolute disgrace. Oh, Snogging Jeremy, making you think him that? look a mug. I think you're act acting like an absolute Making him look a mug. Why, why when you're trying to make him look, look a mug? Trying to take back Babe, say what you're going to say. What you're doing elder. is wrong. Don't you think you're a disgrace acting to an no, elder like that? No, because I'm not snogging a guy yeah, when I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, and you're not mugging someone off in the garden at fucking 70 yards you old. You so, cannot snog a boyfriend boy right. boy yeah. when yeah. you've got a boyfriend. All right. Come Thing on, is, babe, you've got... You no, actually, cannot snog... I can't wait for you to see yourself and yell at your actual, like, what a horrible monster you are. You actually disgusting. Your attitude thinks you're a diva, and that's why no one's ever liked you, because you're a diva. Because if you put it on... Get yeah, a good yeah, step, and sometimes it's yeah. better not taking part in that, not wearing a jumper, not doing everything. You do not fucking knock. Who you are you? You're off Towie. What's your talent? Nothing. Nothing. You do not snog another boy. And that's not done really well, has it? You do not snog. What's your talent? Come on, baby. No, another boy under the cover. She's got a boyfriend. It's wrong. I think it's wrong. One fifteen a.m. Big Brother has called Stephanie to the diary room. Big bro, I'm good to go now. Please open the door. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to waste your time and speak to you. I'm not doing this anymore. Stephanie, take a seat for Big Brother. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I don't even care about the money. I don't care about anything. Stephanie, talk Big Brother through what just happened. She was a fucking cunt. I hate her. Who does she think she is? She's like a witch with a fucking pedal shit staring. Who likes that? She's a cunt. Making everyone unpack and pack a case. Who is she? I'm sorry. Fuck off. Who are you? Tabby Star. What are you actually known for? Why are you better than me? But I've took it too far, big brother. I've took it too far being close to Jez. And I'll never be able to forgive myself for as long as I'm in here. So please, just let me go because I'll never be able to forgive myself. You didn't deserve that because you wasn't even the one that bloody said it. But what I'm saying is, she has felt that about me. Yeah, you obviously. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, she's felt yeah, that about me. Yeah, but you know me. anyway, Jim. It ain't something you didn't know. We'd already had this And I can assure you, Mark. It makes me feel so awkward. You don't even have to justify your business, babe. It makes me feel awkward. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's child. It's 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 but I'm just trying to do a trap step. No, I know, you're trying to help. Why do you keep kissing a boy? Do you know what she should do? Go, right, I've realised since meeting Jeremy that I've not got feelings for Sam. I've fallen in love with someone. I'm the biggest supporter of love and romance. I yeah, believe in it. Love I love that. it. Yeah. Woohoo. I'm yeah. so happy for anyone that falls in love. Yeah. But you don't kiss another boy when you've got a boyfriend because you know what that boy's getting hurt yeah and we've all suffered we've, at the hands no, of love well, of yeah. course i've been hurt I've, yeah, I've, you know what I mean? we've all suffered that we've all been it's just so awkward course. now because it's gone to another level and why am i such a horrible person you're not a horrible she person a you're not a horrible yeah. person yeah. Yeah. Monster and everyone hates you. yeah hate you, no one hates you i don't hate you yeah i don't hate you Jim, Jim, you are loved. She don't give two tosses. No, she I know. Give, you have to worry about someone's yeah. own opinion. Mm. Do you know what I mean? She ain't got no opinion. If you said it to me, I'd be upset I think a lot of you. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if I And I would, I mean yeah. that. Or, yeah. or Daniela, or yeah. you know what I mean? I but say that, yeah. I'm just saying, she, must have she, 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 must she showed her it. true colours well, she must at the find, top of that. She must she's obviously regret. got, yeah, she's obviously got issues with, yeah. She clearly Big time issues for her to come out with all that. Oh. Clearly find you a threat. Of course. I reckon she's going to leave. Oh, no, that old story. No, 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 I mean, as in, uh, like, I don't think she's going to want to come back in. Oh, because in the morning she might oh, want to face me. You've got your talentless people in there, like Gemma, who think they're celebrities, but they're nothing worse than shit on me shoe because just from a Tally reality TV programme, thinking that they can own you and make you do what you want to do, I'd rather they shit on my own head than ever be like them and the way they are because I think it's disgusting 
but she's got the right to say I'm disgusting. If you let me back in that house, I'm going to end up doing something I regret, either if that's punching Gemma Collins in the face, which she deserves. How's she got a cheer? I never know. She's a fucking diva, big lion-headed cunt who's an absolute knob, and people that do like her need to give their heads a wobble because she's disgusting. Four twenty-three a.m. Big Brother has moved Stephanie to a spare room for the night to give her time to calm down. I've done nothing wrong. She's a fucking diva. She needs to get a fucking grip of her life and stop being a diva. I'm not staying now. Let me out of this house. I'm not staying now. I'm not staying in a room when I was calm if you'd let me stay in bed. I've opened up my heart to you tonight and you're fucking me over. I'm not doing it. Stephanie. I'm not doing it. Let me out. I am done now. Stephanie. That is it. I'm not jeopardising my life. I've risked my relationship for the show tonight. Oh, because I'm fucking... Oh, rah. I'm the fucking Lion King, Gemma Stephanie, Collins. Stephanie, you need to calm down. No! Now. Gemma Collins, Lion King. Stephanie. Keep her. Keep it for entertainment, but she's a bully. She's a thousand times taller than me. A thousand times taller, and she looks down on me like I'm an ant. Most of the housemates have been asleep for two hours and 21 minutes. And Gemma thinks she has seen a ghost. I've just seen that really fucking scary in the mirror. What was it? There's someone peeping through the curtain. Where? Oh, my God, open that fucking door now. Open the door. Open, open the, the door. door. No, fuck this, I'm out of here. Get that fire exit door. I'm off. No, 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 wait a minute. Just no, tell, I'm off. Tell me where you're no, was there the other side fucking of that door? Scary. What are you talking about? I just see it with my own fucking where? eyes. Where? In there. Where? <laughs> In the you know, glass. You know In there. Fucking looking at me. I don't like it. It's fucking shit scary in here, mate, tonight. It is. That's fucking <laughs> scary as fuck. What is that? I'll come and sit with I don't know. I can't see his thing. Look, look, look. Look, 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 look. Where? Where? Left hand corner, it. left hand corner. I saw it a minute ago anyway when I walked round. I saw you it. You can see the light going Yeah, I saw you? the light. Yeah. I'm telling you now, that was like a ghost. I don't like it. Thanks. I don't Listen, like it. I'm scared. I feel proper scared. I don't like things like this. I'm not joking you. I can't sleep now. Yeah, I see it. I'm fucked. I'm up. This week, Daniela, Sean, Christina and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Daniela, add 03. For John, add 08. For Christina, add 10. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Tuesday's eviction show. If you watch on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Expect gripping new season action with a mass breakout from the asylum in Gotham, Rise of the Villains, tomorrow at 10. If you're in the mood for a movie next on Channel 5, find your inner peace with Julia Roberts in the network premiere of Eat, Pray, Love.